we invite you on our journey. A journey into the field of plants and flowers. Here is an Indian paintbrush, the Castilea Chromosa. I love the signature of this plant as it has these little tubular roots that burrow into the roots of the host plants nearby, such as the juniper and the cat claw and the mesquite and the cliff rose here in this area. They burrow their roots, it's called a hostoria. And by doing so as a semi-parasitic plant, they're nurtured and fed by these host plants that help them to grow and develop. And they make a breakthrough in their own survival, their own ab ability to survive in this rocky, deserty earth that they can then grow free and independent on their own. And the great thing about the signature is that it is like a child with its parents and what it takes or requires to be nurtured and fed so that we can grow and evolve and become who we are and blossom into our own identity and yet have the roots of our families nearby and the support of our families nearby. This plant teaches us um, a balanced relationship of interdependence of coming into ourself and yet to be fed by our resources, of being able to make a breakthrough by the expression of our own vitality and creativity and exuberance for life. It is a plant that actually is of the snapdragon and figwort family. So the red petals appear to be the flowers of the plant, but inside if you look really close, you'll see that these little green uh, they're packed very densely. Little green spikes are actually the true flower of the plant. So it's kind of like a, the essence of this plant, the signature is like it's protected inside and yet it has this beautiful passionate nature of the figwort family, which often you see them as little mouths or signatures of more of a, a different shaped petal, flower petals, at, but this Indian paintbrush shows the true expression of its life form, the presence of what it means to imbibe in the root of where we came from and who we are, what our relationship is to our traditions, our families, our values, ourselves, what we choose to carry on in our relationship with how we're nurtured by the earth how we take care of ourselves, how we survive in the world, how we feel creative and exhilarant and energetic. It has such a beautiful energetic presence. You can feel it. You can see it. You can just take in the presence of this plant and take it all the way down to your toes and into the earth. And it gives you this sense of strength, of creativity, of survival, of the ability to know that you are rooted, grounded, relaxed, and free. I invite you to enter the silence of mind where no voice is heard and no sound is made. And in this deep stillness you will feel my presence. Allow your roots at the deepest core of your being to draw upon my resources. You will come to realize that no matter where you came from or who you are, you have the ability to create within yourself a new sense of wholeness. Experience the silence in me. And in this place you will feel the fullness of survival in your world. You will discover a newfound freedom, allowing you to break through your dependencies with others and live a life of interdependence. My silence will inspire your vision, your passion for life, and your creativity for living. With each moment, you are creating your life. 
Thank you for joining me in these plant journeys. If you wish to know more about the healing properties of flowers and plants and how they can help you, please visit my website and look for my books.